Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today we will go through the coagulation pathway. Uh, generally, when uh, coagulation pathway comes into our mind, we think about uh, mostly coagulation factors. It's not like that. Uh, there are steps before coagulation cascade is uh, triggered. That is the platelet activation. And uh, from CPSP point of view, there are certain steps even before platelet activation that are often asked. So we will discuss all. First of all, uh, uh, formation of uh, primary platelet plug takes place. Then coagulation pathway is set into place. And then secondary cascade uh, produces thrombogenesis or fibrin meshwork. So uh, we'll start with the uh, platelet plug formation, the primary hemostasis. Uh, so it is, uh, it is the primary. Uh, so first step is uh, endothelial damage. Uh, we know the Virkus triad has uh, three corners, endothelial injury, uh, stasis, and turbulence. So endothelial injury is always the primary trigger for most of the uh, plug formations. Uh, for example, in uh, vasculitis, there is inflammation. In DIC, there is damage to endothelium. So endothelial activation uh, takes place. Uh, that is a pro-coagulant change. So the MCQ asks hemostasis starts with endothelial injury. Uh, you have to keep in mind, this is not given in book. I have added it here. And uh, whenever there is endothelial injury, there is a release of endothelin uh, that uh, causes a reflex vasoconstriction. So whenever injury, body tries to protect extra blood loss by initial vasoconstriction. There is no activation of platelet yet. There is no activation of uh, coagulation factor. So body has to do something to prevent blood loss. So the first response is physical one. That is the transient vasoconstriction via neural stimulation reflex and endothelin released from damaged cells. Uh, so MCQ asked is uh, a hemostasis starts with endothelial injury and first response in endothelial injury is vasoconstriction. It's not platelet activation, it's the vasoconstriction, the first response. But ultimately primary plug is by platelet uh, activation and adhesion will go into this. So when there is injury, the next step is exposure. Uh, exposure of what? Whenever endothelium is injured, uh, it contains von Willebrand factors and collagen. We will see here that uh, endothelial is injured. It contains a factor eight along with von Willebrand factor. So this MCQ comes uh, as well. Inside endothelial cell, von Willebrand factor is synthesized and stored, and all of the factors are synthesized in liver, uh, sinus, uh, liver uh, cells, uh, hepatocytes, except factor eight and factor four. Factor four is given here. All factors are synthesized in liver except factor 8 in the endothelium and factor 4. Factor 4 is calcium. So calcium is all where in the body. Uh, it is absorbed in GIT. So it's not as a synthesized inside body. So we cover two MCQs here as well. Uh, exposure of one Willebrand factor that is synthesized in the endothelium uh, to what? To the platelet because we're talking about the platelet now. Uh, uh, one Willebrand factor is in the vibel palatal bodies of the endothelial cells and alpha granules of the platelets. These granules are important. You can read it in the start of chapter. And uh, uh, such exposure results von Willebrand factor to cross link between platelet and the damaged endothelium. So von Willebrand is in between. So whenever there will be deficiency of von Willebrand, it will lead to bleeding tendency. And it is the most common cause of uh, uh, acquired, uh, sorry, genetic deficiency because acquired deficiency is mostly uh, through uh, uh, drugs as well as uh, through secondary disorders just like, like antiphospholipid syndrome. So primary plug formation uh, is triggered by endothelial injury. And uh, overall hemostasis, primary and secondary, is also triggered by endothelial injury. And first response in endothelial is vasoconstriction. Uh, adhesion takes place and platelet release ADP and calcium, that is factor 4 of coagulation factor. Uh, so certain factors overlap in both primary and secondary parts. We will see it. Uh, primary hemostasis and secondary hemostasis. So here calcium is common for both. Uh, that is factor 4 in uh, coagulation pathway.
and uh, thromboxane A2. Thromboxane A2 uh, is a, a main thing involved in platelet contraction activation. Uh, here we will see it uh, released from platelets that platelet also have one willibrand factor and fibrinogen inside an arachidonic acid pathway that we know is very famous uh, all the NSAIDs non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs block senses of uh, prostaglandins uh, and uh, uh, thromboxane A2 is amongst one of uh, them and uh, these are involved in anti-platelet activity the aspirin it irreversibly binds and blocks cyclooxygenase cox enzyme uh, so adhesion takes place so first step is platelet adhesion to the damaged endothelium second step is activation so platelet activates and they uh, produce receptors the first receptor is uh, already used that is glycoprotein 1b so another question asked is platelet will have uh, what sort of receptors uh, they will have glycoprotein receptors uh, like a gp 1b and glycoprotein 2b 3a uh, because most of the cellular receptors are glycoprotein in nature just like uh, we have antigens on the rbcs they are also glycoprotein in nature another mcq from uh, those receptor come uh, here it is glycoprotein 1b clearly written it is a glycoprotein in nature and glycoprotein 2b 3a so 2b 3a uh, uses fibrinogen in between to cross link platelets uh, so interestingly we have uh, seen in primary platelet plug formation there is platelet adhesion first of all and then platelet aggregation that uses uh, glycoprotein 2b3a adhesion uses von willebrand factor then glycoprotein 1b and the disease the two diseases involved in uh, adhesion to the endothelium are uh, von willebrand disease itself that uh, is uh, most important it is an autosomal dominant most of the diseases of coagulation pathways are autosomal recessive because these are protein in nature and their senses will be decreased not completely absent in most cases but this one willy brand is an autosomal dominant one uh, this is uh, something you have to remember and this comes in mcqs and uh, this is the most common cause of uh, uh, genetic defect of coagulation uh, pathway uh, primary pathway yeah, and then uh, there is deficiency uh, of uh, glycoprotein 1b the receptor protein that helps in adhesion uh, not the aggregation aggregation is between uh, uh, platelets and adhesion is to the endothelium so uh, endoth uh, endothelial adhesion to the uh, collagen uh, subendothelial collagen takes place uh, through glycoprotein 1b and von willebrand cross uh, linkage and von willebrand is sandwiched between endothelium and platelet uh, platelet glycoprotein 1b so whenever 1b is absent this disease is burn burnout solier syndrome so it also comes in mcq that it is uh, 1b uh, is deficient and uh, uh, then comes 2b 3a that is uh, uh, between platelet that is an adhesion uh, that is uh, an aggregation phenomena between platelets so uh, platelet once they are adhere to endothelium they occupy all the damaged area then they start piling up each other as well uh, by activation of uh, 2b3a receptor and 2b3a receptor cross links through fibrinogen just like the 1b uh, cross linked with uh, subendothelial collagen through von willebrand here it is using fibrinogen so another uh, uh, thrombo genesis pathway uh, uh, component that is fibrinogen is used with platelets uh, uh, as cross linkage otherwise platelets are the primary uh, cells of uh, uh, primary hemostasis so uh, fibrinogen uh, cross links between 2b3a and 2b3a is very important uh, because of glansman thrombosthenia disease and certain medication but uh, uh, most of the med uh, mcqs here are highlighted there bernard Soler syndrome is one glycoprotein 1b deficiency clopidogrel press presogrel and uh, ticlopidine these are the three drugs clopidogrel we know that uh, it comes in combination with the uh, aspirin in uh, myocardial medicine that uh, 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 double antiplatelet activity uh, uh, we say uh, so aspirin 
is cyclooxygenase inhibitor thermoxin so it helps uh, in uh, thinning of blood by avoiding platelet activation and uh, aggregation and uh, here clopidogrel and related drugs uh, inhibit adp p2 y12 receptor that indirectly helps uh, glycoprotein 2b3 a to be inserted and platelet to platelet plug formation taking place afterwards so a bit complex but you have to remember that uh, clopidogrel prasagrel have mechanism for inhibition of uh, adp receptor and uh, uh, aspirin has cyclooxygenase that irre irreversibly binds to it so we come on to the uh, exposure uh, then adhesion platelet binds bone willy brand via 1 bb already said and the disease there is uh, but not solely an important MCQ receptor at the site of cell injury uh, and the platelet undergo conformation change it platelet release ADP and the ADP receptor uh, we have clopidogrel as a, as a anti ADP receptor uh, mechanism undergo conformation ch uh, change and uh, release ADP calcium necessary for coagulation cascade from books in A2 from platelets now ADP has platelet adhere to endothelium as well and uh, activation ADP binds to P2Y12 receptor induces uh, 2B3A expression at platelet surface uh, again 2B3A important for uh, uh, glansman's thrombosthenia and uh, certain drugs which inhibit uh, this receptor as well these are written here uh, uh, Clopidogrel, prasagrel, and clopidin inhibits ADP induced expression of 2B3A by reversibly binding to P2Y12 receptors. Uh, this is an ADP receptor, but uh, the uh, drugs uh, 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 directly inhibiting the 2B3A. The, the, the clopidogrel was indirectly from ADP receptor or P2Y12 receptor that directly are up 6 mab aptifibatide, tirofiban that inhibits 2B3A. A and if 2B3A are absent, otherwise the disease is simply uh, glansman's thrombus thenia uh, not yet in mcq but uh, it can come because other disease has been coming so uh, we have this uh, aggregation of platelet taking place uh, between between 2b3a receptors so 2b3a helps in aggregation one glycoprotein 1b helps in adhesion and certain pro aggregant factors anti-aggregant factors uh, uh, thromboxane pro pro aggregant we know that this platelet act on uh, to decrease this level all this leads to coagulation cascade to enter into secondary hemostasis that uh, we'll discuss in the next page here we have uh, discussed most important uh, factors and uh, primary platelet plug formation i'll discuss the formation of insoluble fibrin mesh is this thrombogenesis aspirin irreversibly uh, inhibits cyclooxygenase thereby inhibiting thromboxane a2 synthesis uh, that is an mcq irreversibly binds uh, because aspirin uh, binds irreversibly so all platelets are knocked out uh, so the half-life of platelet relatively uh, 7 to 10 days that is also an mcq so before a surgery we, we say that they have to stop aspirin at least for one week general practice is this uh, uh, should be this uh, from book, bookish knowledge uh, because all the new platelets are in the body then uh, just like the rbcs are uh, after, you know, completely replaced by 120 days platelets are replaced by uh, one week uh, so uh, when all the platelets are uh, reversibly inhibited by aspirin uh, by decreasing thromboxane A2 synthesis, uh, the new platelets will be needed to be acted upon uh, as a procoagulant state. Uh, so we have Ristocetin activates von Willebrand to bind glycoprotein 1B. So Ristocetin is important in von Willebrand disease. Uh, uh, we measure Ristocetin cofactor activity. If it is decreased, then uh, we have this uh, issue with the von Willebrand. Uh, failure of aggregation uh, with Ristocetin uh, as say occurs in von Willebrand disease and Bernard Solier syndrome. So these are the two uh, important uh, diseases Bernard Solier and von Willebrand because they helps in adhesion. Here word aggregation is used generally because when we add a Ristocetin in a, a, a sample outside body the platelets are not to adhere to anything they will simply aggregate with each other so that's why the word aggregation is used. otherwise 
the receptor uh, for Bernard Solier and von Willy Brandt helps in adhesion uh, and uh, other things uh, von Willy Brandt and factor 8 are synthesized in the endothelium and uh, these are important points to be remembered from this page see you next